news from around the region and from around the state. This is a Florida Focus News. Hello and welcome to Florida Focus. I'm Stephen Carandi. The Tampa Bay community is mourning the victims of the Pittsburgh Synagogue shooting. Valeska Nava tells us more. There are two local vigils tonight to remember the 11 Jewish people who were killed on Saturday. One is here at USF's Hill Center at 630. It's open to the public. The Jewish Federation of Sarasota Manatee is also holding a public event at the Sarasota Fairgrounds. That event starts at 7. Security will be high until you must RSVP online to attend. Reporting for Florida Focus, I'm Valeska Nava. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office arrests unlicensed contractors for targeting the elderly. Unlicensed contractors are pretenders. If you choose to hire one, you're inviting someone into your home who can be a convicted felon or a fugitive. Sixteen people have been arrested and six others have charges pending. This was a part of a sting called Operation Retrofit. Detectives responded to ads posted as homeowners. The sheriff says the contractors who were arrested provided quotes without proper licensing. The family of a murder Clearwater couple is pleading for information. It's been one month since Mina and David Swan were found dead in their home. The family announced today they were offering a $25,000 reward for information. That's in addition to an existing $3,000 reward from Crime Stoppers. Tampa's furry canine friends are getting their paws wet at work. Natalie Island reports. Adventure Island gave law enforcement canines and their handlers the chance to train in their pools. The park's wave pool and kid-friendly splash zones staged scenarios like catching suspects who jumped in the water. The sheriff's office says it's crucial for canines to be prepared for any situation since Tampa Bay is surrounded by water. Reporting for Florida Focus, I'm Natalie Island. That's all that we have for Florida Focus. Thank you for watching.